Kari Kalan looked around to lead Kanamaran in the empty space between the mansion and the wall. The other four followed. Kari Galan stopped when he reached the place where the platform and the shed were set up for Kuravakutu. Oko. What's this? What's going to happen here? He asked. Come again. If you like, we intend to have a funeral here. Aha. Uh -huh. Very good. Put on the mustache, put on the bow. Put on the Karakal Valavar play, the Vijayalaya collar play. We will spend the day in hunting in the forest. The night will be spent in the bottle and in the hut. Sambuvarayar. Do you know what my paternal Malay Aman sent me? When in the Kadampur Sambuvarian mansion. Don't sleep at night, he warned. Do you know what I replied to my Patan? Putna. I do not sleep during the day, I do not sleep at night. I have not slept for three years. Therefore do not be afraid that my enemies will harm me while I sleep. Only if someone harms me while I am awake. Who has such a brave son? I left saying courage to Malay Aman. Sambuvarayar said in a voice trembling with anger, Sir. Whether they are asleep or awake, no one will dare to harm them while in this mansion. Said. Yes, yes. Who can harm me within the house of Kadampur Sambuvarayar? Or who can come from outside beyond such great walls? Not even Yama. Is Kadampur Sambuvarayar even afraid of Yama? I told you about the vain worries of that old man of Thirukovalar. Isn't he old? Some as people get older, their morale declines. Next. Look at my neighbor Patton. How briskly he walks. Can anyone say he's over sixty? Kari Kalan joked saying that. Palyavatarayar cleared his throat as if to say something in response. It roared like a lion's roar. Look. How right it is to say that if the great Pavatare opens his throat, the whole place trembles. Kandamara. Vandiyadeva. Parthapendra. Think if you will all be so strong at Pavur Patan's age. Perhaps you will open your throat like him. But you won't bring a new girl to the Param at his age. Grandfather. They seem to have brought the younger queen along with them. I saw in the front porch. How did the younger queen travel? In a mudubalak? In a chariot? Or in a cart? Palyavatarayar then interrupted. I put the elephant on Amberi and brought it to the whole country and city. He said proudly. That's how you should do it, grandfather. Always do it like that from now on. Don't bring him only in Mudubalak. That's why so many boring rumors arise. Listen to a joke, sometimes my stepfather Madhurand Hakan secretly climbs into the Mudubalak of Pavur Ila Irani and goes from town to town. Such a rumor has spread all over the country. Carrie Gallon said and laughed. But none of the others there laughed. There was a lot of confusion in everyone's mind. Van Diathavan thought to himself, Oh! What a mistake we have made! We have told everything to this crazy man. It seems that he will not spare a thing and make it public. He was troubled thinking that. Like the bowels of a volcano, the heart of the great reaper seethed with fire and smoke. He cleared his throat again like a terrible roar before the fire and smoke came through the mouth of a volcano. Before he could speak, Parthapendra moved a step ahead and said, Komakan. I got to see the queen of Palvur for a very short time. Within that time I came to know what kind of goddess she is. If anyone tries to slander about the queen of Palvur, I will make him a prey to my sword that very moment. This is the truth. He said that. Kanamaran came a step behind and said, There is no need to take a knife in my hand, I swear I will kill the one who slanders the Isla Irani of Palavur by cutting his neck with my own hand. He said. Hearing this Van Diathavan also came forward and said so am I. If anyone speaks ill of the Queen of Palavur, I will burn him with my eyes. He said. Ahaha. Wait a little. My friends. It seems you will come to fight with me. You see, grandfather. How zealous they are to save the honor of the Tamil women's clan. 
but no one has slandered the Isla Irani of Palvaur. If so, I will not sit idly by listening. Until these brave warriors come, such slander I will not keep the person alive. They are only complaining about the Mudabalak of Palavur Isla Irani. That coward Mad Huranthakan is secretly travelling from town to town in the Mudabalak of Palavur Rani. When a male son travels in a Mudabalak with veils on both sides, then if Isla Irani also travels like that, some calamities may result. Komakan. Why would Mad Huranthak Deva, the grandson of Parantaka Emperor and the son of Kandaradatha, travel in Mudabalak? I don't understand anything," said Parthipendra of Paul Avan. The reason for that is a funny one. Madhurand Hakan is going from town to town gathering strength for his party by riding on the Mudupalak. Gathering strength for what? Why? It was for him to ascend the throne of the Chola kingdom after my father. How is the story? One day a few months ago, he even secretly came to this Kadampur mansion in the dark. At midnight, a meeting of Sadi Yalasana took place here. Parthipendra. The old man of Tyrakovalar told all this while you were also with me? To ascend the throne to Madhurandhagan. Did you hurry and say that you would send my father to heaven a little early? Don't you remember all that? I remember, Prince. I didn't believe all that then, I don't believe it at all now. After going to Tanjavur and seeing their father in person, you're the only one? Even I don't believe. If I had believed, would I have come as a guest to this Kadampur mansion? Saying that, Carrie Gallon smiled again as if he had thought of something. Kadambur Sambuvarayar cleared his throat and said, Come again. They know the long-standing enmity of Thirukovalar Malayaman clan and our clan. Said. What don't you know? Sangha poets have sung about that enmity. Koli Mala killed Valval Ori in a fight with Malayaman Tiru Mudikari. You are from Valval Ori's dynasty, so you still harbour that enmity. Come again. Valval Ori's death was immediately avenged. Valval Ori's relative Ade Aman Nejamananji invaded Tirakovalar and destroyed that town as well, he razed to the ground the hill fort of Muller of Malayaman. Sambuvaria. Athi Aman did not do that alone. It was with the help of my forefather Kolan Kilai Valavan that Athi Aman was victorious over Malay Aman. Why all that old story now? Even if we forget, the Malayan does not forget. He is blaming us for something. Did I say that? The old man is old, and so is his wits. I'm even a little worried that he won't bring a huge army to protect me from any danger while I'm here. Prince. If they have any doubts about that. Sambuvarier stammered. Do I doubt it? Not at all. Our relationship with the Malay Aman is two generations long. Our relationship with the Palyavatarayas has continued for six generations. The king of Palyavar himself has come here. Am I crazy to think that he would do anything against the Chola clan? Kari Kalan said and laughed madly. Palyavatarayar said in a majestic voice, Prince. This is my oath that I will never do anything against the Chola clan. This is my double oath that I will never do anything against Dharma and justice. Yes, yes. There must be such a thing as Dharma Nayam. I came to talk to you about it and find out. Let's talk a little about Dharma Nayam when the time for hunting and snooping is over. Sambuvaria. What place have you made for me and my friends to stay in this huge palace? Kari Kalan asked. Sir. We have reserved the entire guest house in Bingat for you and the king of Pavur. I will keep all the minor princes who may come otherwise with me in advance. Oko. Are there going to be more princes? Yes, prince. All the kings of the surrounding lands are eager to meet you here, and many more will come. Let them come, let them come. Let them all come. Very good. Let's decide in one way what needs to be thought and decided. Let alone Madhurandha's conspiracy. I myself want to hold a conspiracy with you. There is no better place for it than this mansion," said Carrie Gallen.